what's going on in your region, your BBC local radio station. George. All right, Alex, thanks very much. And that's all from us. Now it's time to join the BBC's news teams where you are. Goodbye. This is East Midlands Today with Anne Davis and me, Dominic Heal. Our top story tonight, rape cases and the law. A victim speaks out. Carla Stokes was raped by an ex-partner. She's criticised his three-year sentence. It's not long enough. Not long enough by a mile. Also tonight, intent on trouble. New footage is released as ringleader Tyrrell Shannon is jailed. Plus, the memories of 1950s excursions that inspired this day out for children in care. And the Nottingham Park that's getting a right royal wash and brush up. Good evening, welcome to the programme. You're watching East Midlands today and next tonight hundreds of children who are all in care have had a day out to remember thanks to one man and his childhood memories. Terry Galloway, who we'll be speaking to in a moment, was also in care and then wanted to do something for kids in the same position that he was once in. James Robertson reports. Just some of the youngsters who gathered at one of Sandy Cliff's car sale sites in Loughborough. They were getting ready for an extra special trip for which Sandy Cliff's staff have been organising and fundraising for five months. It's all to send East Midlands youngsters who are in care to Alton Towers for the day. At last, with a special escort, it was time for the convoy of seven coaches to set off. Just over an hour later, and the youngsters are queuing for rides. <laughs> It's all been the idea of Sandy Cliff site manager Terry Galloway. Terry, who grew up in care in the 1980s in the North West, still has vivid memories of fantastic trips organised from Manchester, where youngsters were taken in a convoy of 200 taxis for a day out in Blackpool. It was a break, a break from being in care. Um, and what was so emotional about the day was the fact that people actually cared about us. <laughs> For these youngsters, it's also been a day to remember. Yeah, I think it's um, a good experience that we could come here. It's been with other people our age and like meeting new people. Yeah, it's a special day because a big company has organised it for the children in care everywhere. <laughs> it just gives you a break from everything, um, like because people have been in enough drama as it is, people in care. I think it's really lovely that Terry's decided to do something like this and put back into community, it's really nice. Despite the rain, it was all worthwhile. Yeah! James Robeson, East Midlands Today, Staffordshire. Oh, I don't suppose anybody gave us stuff about the rain, Terry. We didn't know. It <laughs> uh, was in high spirits, it really was. Oh, we said that you were in, you were in care. What, what was your experience of the, of the childcare system actually like? Um, it, it wasn't great. It, it, was, it was up and down. Uh, things, things have got better. I was, yeah, I was going to ask you, do you think things have improved? Because you've obviously met a, you've met a lot of the youngsters who are currently in care. Yeah, um, it's, it's all about the communication now. There's, there's, People are sharing more best practice now across the different counties and the, the social workers and things, they are, they are doing an absolutely fantastic job. I mean, the thing is, though, that the number of children who are in care has gone up hugely, I mean, especially since the baby, the P case. I mean, I, 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 one automatically thinks it's a bad thing, but is it a bad thing, do you think? Not really. It means there's more focus. You know, it, like with the baby P situation, the, the care workers are, are going to be more focused and making sure they get things right. It's not, it's not surprising that the numbers are increasing because if, if you look at the statistics, it's the kids, their parents most of the time was in care as well. And if you don't break the cycle, it just keeps on going around. Right. Now, we, we saw from those pictures that uh, the children on this trip had a really great time, mm. but I understand you'd like to, to, to do something, can I say, a little bit more substantial in the future, perhaps? Yeah, it, it was great. For the kids on the day, it was great, but they've now gone home and they'll feel for Don. And, and really, the community needs to t sit up and take notice, and, and we need to take a responsibility because it's, it's our community. And the key thing for these kids is actually creating opportunities for them for when they actually leave care because if you don't create those opportunities now 
then when they do leave care, they just right back into the cycle. You know, so we need to be doing things like creating apprenticeships for them and mentoring systems. That that's what that's what the key to this situation is. <laughs> And Sounds yeah. like you're really passionate, which yeah, is a great I, advocate. Well, let's yeah. hope some people watching and take notice of what, what you've said and maybe, you know, implement some of those mm. things and put them into action. Yeah. That's so, oh, so, great, Terry. So, so we had a great day. Thanks ever mm. so much Thank for you. talking to us. Cheers. Right, uh, it's been a plot of green in the centre of a business.